Hi, my name is Chaim, and this video is about the master formula and how to use it for drug calculations. Now, there's many different types of formulas out there, and it can get pretty confusing. Uh, so, my professor, Professor Joe Jones, was a genius, came up with, basically he took the best parts of all these different formulas, and he put it into one master formula. And... Uh, it actually works really, really well. If you're having trouble trying to uh, trying to do all these different formulas, have no fear, because right now I'm going to show you how to use the master formula, right? And if you are a whether you're a a um, a student in in medical school or you're a paramedic, you're a nurse, whatever you are. This, this, this formula, the master formula, will be of the utmost help for you. All right, so here we go. All right, so let's start off with the master formula itself. It's going to be desired dose times weight times solution set over concentration times time. All right. Now let's say um, let's say a particular drug it's non weight based. So you would cross this off. Uh, now let's say it's also a push, an IV push. You're not going to use a solution set, right? So you're going to cross off solution set. And for many drugs, uh, for many push drugs, you're not going to need time. There are some that are, but um, for the most case, you're not. So we're going to cross off time. So what we're left with is desired dose over concentration. All right. Now uh, there are drugs out there are push drugs there are drugs that you um, IV pushes that are weight based, but for the sake of um, making this simple, we'll just do desired dose over concentration. So uh, let's plug in some numbers. We uh, being that that's not going to be a weight based drug or or this is not a drip, so we don't need solution set and we're not going to use time. The only things left the only thing. The only two things left are desired dose and concentration. So let's say the desired dose is, like, like I said, let's make this simple, two mics. All right? And let's say the concentration, for the sake of, uh, of being simple, let's say four mics uh, into... 2 mLs, right? Okay, so let's rewrite. So now let's uh, take the numbers that we plugged in and put it and apply it. So we have 2 mics over 4 mics per 2 ml, right? All right, so the first thing we want to do is simplify the concentration per ml, right? So we know that 2 mls goes into 4 mics how many times? That's right, it goes into it 2. So 2 mics per ml. All right, now the next step is to say two mics uh, goes into two mics how many times? You can say one. Oh, well, before we do that, let's first cross off like terms. We've got mics crossed off and mics, so we're left with mls, right? Now we can answer the problem. So if we're only left with mls, because we crossed, so what you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. 2 goes into 2, so yeah, 2 goes into 2, how many times? 1 times. We're left with uh, only 
only ml, so it's going to be 1 ml. You're going to push 1 ml. Okay, so now let's look at something a little bit more complex, uh, a drip. You have desired dose times weight times solution set over concentration times time. All right? Now, in this case, we're going to need Let's just make this, uh, like I said, comp more complex. Let's use the weight. And being that we're doing a drip, we're obviously going to need a solution set. And we're going to keep time, because usually when you do uh, an IV drip, it usually uh, has, a, has a time on it. It has, um, yeah, a fixed time. So, like, for dopamine, you have, you know, you're going to do it per minute, you know, you know, within that minute. So let's, let's just use dopamine as, as an example. We know that uh, if you're doing an, uh, a dopamine uh, IV uh, drip, it's going to be 2 to 10 mics per kilogram per minute, right? So let's do this complex, but at the same time keep the numbers simple. So let's say it, you have 2 mics, right, per kilogram. Okay, the patient weighs, let's say, 176 pounds. Okay, and of course, when you're doing um, a dopamine uh, drip, you're going to use, of course, a 60 drop set. Okay. And uh, now we already know uh, for a concentration of dopamine, um, whether you say um, 400 into, um, into a 250 bag or you say 800 into a 500 bag, the concentration is always going to be the same. Okay, so... Let's say the concentration is 400 milligrams into, and you put that into a 250 ml bag. Okay, and the, and you're gonna do all of this in one minute. All right. So now let's take all the numbers that we applied and put it here. So we know that we're going to be using two mics per kilogram, so we have here two mics per kilogram. Patient weighs 176 pounds using a 60 drop set over 400 milligrams, putting that into a 250 ml bag, and all and doing this all in one minute. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so the let's take one step at a time. You have. 160, 176 pounds. We need to convert this to kilograms, of course, right? So we know that 176 pounds is, you're right, 80 kilograms. Good job. All right. Next thing we want to do, we notice that this, that the milligram, the, the that uh, the milligrams is different than up here, which is micrograms, correct? So we want to make uh, those both match. So whatever you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. But of course, that's already Mike, so it's going to be yada, yada, yada. Okay, so let's cross this off. We know that uh, we have to make uh, uh, this concentration here into Mike. So we're going to say 400, right? And add three zeros to make it into Mike's. One, two, 
three. It is now Mike's into a 250 ml bag. Awesome so far, correct? All right. Now what we want to do is simplify this and say how much mics per ml, right? So we know that 250 goes into 1,000 four times. Therefore, 250 goes into 2,000 eight times. Okay? 250 goes into 4,016 times. So this is 400,000, right? So if if 250 goes into 4,000 16 times, then it goes into 400,000 1,600 times micrograms per ml. Awesome, right? Okay, so now the next thing we want to do is simplify this even more, right? So we're going to cross off like terms, whether it's ml per ml versus ml or zeros versus zeros so let's do the zeros here first we have two zeros there so whatever you do to the bottom you must do to the top so that is I'm gonna cross that off cross that off so with eight and six so rather than eighty it's now eight rather than sixty it's six and rather than sixteen sorry rather than sixteen hundred it is sixteen alright now let's cross off the wordings Micrograms and micrograms, mLs and mLs. Okay, and now we can cross, let's cross off kg, kg. All right. So what are we left with? We are left with drops and over minutes. So now let's rewrite this in its uh, simplified form. Okay. Two times eight times six drops over sixteen, right? Times one minute. Awesome, right? Okay. So we can see what we have here and what it became down here. Now we want to simplify this even more. Two goes into itself. How many times? That's right. One. Two goes into 16. How many times? It's you can have eight left. All right. Eight goes into itself. One times. Eight goes into itself. One times. So remember, what do you do to the bottom? You must do to the top. All right. So can we simplify this anymore? Technically, we could. We could say we can convert one minute into 60 seconds and see what those have in common. But uh, let's just keep it like this. You, don't, you could do it like that, but we don't have to. That's just an extra step. Okay. So now we can say 1 times 1 times 6 is how much? Yes, you guessed correct. It is 6 equals 6. And remember, we're left over with this and this. So... It's going to be six drops per, remember what we have here, one times one minute is going to be one minute. Okay, so, so this is the first half of the answer. It's going to be six drops per minute. But to make it practical, we have to do it within seconds. So we can say six drops per six drops per sixty seconds. Okay. Now we want to see what these have in common. We know we we, we can just say that uh, if we say, oh, uh, let me let me rephrase that. Six goes into itself how many times? one times. Six goes into sixty how many times? Ten times. So it's going to be one drop every ten seconds. 
one drop every 10 seconds. And that is your answer. One drop every 10 seconds is the is the practical way and it's going to be six drops a minute.